Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a keyboard that is not working, but a mouse that is working. Specifically, I'll be addressing a Logitech keyboard and mouse, and these are some easy fixes to try out. Once again, these are easy fixes for a Logitech keyboard and mouse if the keyboard is not working, but the mouse is indeed working. Let's get right into this instructional video tutorial. There will be five easy fixes that I will address, and hopefully one of them will work for you. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet, so let's get into this. Fix number one is to take out the batteries in the keyboard and put them back in. So if your keyboard is not working, you wanna go ahead and take out the batteries in the keyboard and put them back in. So just flip your keyboard over. You're gonna find the battery compartment somewhere around here. You're going to open up the battery compartment, take out the batteries and put them back in. That will give the, the keyboard a little bit of a reset and hopefully that reset will be enough to get it working once again. So it's just like sort of restarting your phone or restarting a computer. That usually will do the trick for the most part uh, for most common problems, okay? Uh, if that doesn't help you, I'll move on to fix number two and fix number two is to replace the keyboard batteries with fresh ones and ensure that those batteries are indeed fresh and indeed have a charge okay so maybe the batteries themselves are dead or they're very they have a very low charge and it's not enough to sort of get the keyboard connected um, or working you know with the computer connected to the computer working with the computer so do the same process like I just showed you flip it over open up the battery compartment take out the old batteries and replace them with fresh ones hopefully that will do the trick and hopefully that will um, fix the problem and get your keyboard connected and working once again. If that doesn't help you, I'll move on to fix number three, which is to uninstall the keyboard driver and then reinstall it. So your keyboard essentially connects to your computer with a driver. That driver essentially just tells the keyboard and the computer how they work together, okay? So basically, you want to uninstall the keyboard driver and then reinstall it, and that will hopefully give it a nice refresh with regards to the connectivity and ensure that it hopefully starts working again. And and obviously you can also try and look for an update if there's an update to the driver usually it will do it automatically but look to see if there's an update to the driver because if there's an update to the driver then you can just update it instead of uninstalling it or reinstalling it it should have very very similarly about the same effect okay if that doesn't help you I'll move on to fix number four and fix number four is to unplug the USB receiver and then try it in a different USB port on the computer so most likely your your keyboard is going to be connected to your computer with a USB receiver like this and if it's a keyboard and mouse combo like this was then one receiver will connect both of these okay uh, it's called a unifying receiver in Logitech's terms and essentially um, and that, that's, that's what it's called like on the box and stuff like that. But essentially, you wanna unplug it and plug it into a different USB port. That will accomplish two things. You're gonna unplug it and plug it back in, which is the first thing it will accomplish. But the second thing it will accomplish is you're gonna try it with a different USB port. And maybe the USB port that you had it plugged into was working fine, but you know, things happened. Maybe it just stopped working. So unplug it and plug it back into a different USB port. Um, and just remember, when you unplug it, your keyboard will not work as it is, as it is not working already, but your mouse will also not work because it's one receiver for both of them so always keep that in mind um, with regards to like you know you're not gonna be able to use the computer if you unplug the USB uh, receiver um, until you plug it back in okay and if that doesn't help you I'll move on to fix number five the last one for this video is fix five which is to restart the computer or laptop so just restart your computer or laptop once again fix five is to restart the computer or laptop believe it or not restarting the computer or laptop does a great deal of good you should be shutting down your computer or laptop regularly and turning it back on, which is basically a restart. It just refreshes things. Um, and if you're having any problems, one of, the, one of the first things that you should do, and it's like a very common solution, is just restart the device. So restart your computer or laptop and hopefully that solves the problem. Uh, and that's basically it. I tried to keep this video short and sweet and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more good videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.